Hello, my name is Micaiah Stevens. Welcome to game design number four. I work in a game for Hamlet. It's available on Steam. Uh, you can email me or leave a comment in the video below. So we're talking about this uh, concept for game design number four. The uh, sub, the main title is Out of Order. Uh, we're going to talk, we talked a little bit about an introduction. We're going to go into court uh, and explain some of that. Um, and then we're going to go into note array and then get into this concept of LTR, TTB. And then we'll get into, finally get into the main meat of the discussion. And then we'll uh, follow that up with a map uh, problem to showcase another way to showcase this uh, um, out of order uh, example. And we'll wrap this up with the conclusion and then talk about Hamlet, of course. Anyway, so uh, we're talking about a court. Uh, in court, you have to have a, a person. So we're taking Micaiah Stevens, and he's going to be versus, well, he's going to be versus the code of uh, map generation. Uh, is, that, is that the court we're talking about? Uh, well, not, it's not quite a court. Uh, it's uh, not a court, but it's also very legalese. And uh, one of the definitions for legalese, um, this is sort of the, the definition that I like to think about this. It's the, uh, and the, so we Googled the definition of legalese just to make sure we're up on the definition. It's the formal and technical language of legal documents that is often hard to understand. The type pages were full of confusing legalese. So confusing, um, Hard to understand is kind of where we're sort of going with this, but it's sort of in that form of it's it's very technical, uh, which this is actually I had to redo this design because uh, discussion because it's a little too heavy on the technical side. Uh, but you know, hopefully the core on this is programming. But um, it's so this sort of thing where it's like you have to think of it as a, a legal binding thing that you sort of have to do, but then you sort of get caught up in sort of the um, the legal mumbo jumbo. Anyway, so, and part of that legal mumbo jumbo is this LTR TTB. What is that? Well, we're talking about node arrays. So, hmm, LTR. What could that be? I could be looking to raid. Yeah, that that's definitely. I'm uh, I'm a huge World of Warcraft, ex World of Warcraft fan. So, uh, still trying to uh, <laughs> wing myself off of that. Uh, but anyway, so looking to raid. Yeah. So, and we're not, we're looking to raid that node array. Hmm. TP, t, TTB though. What's that? Uh, well. Hmm, TB, you know, we're looking to raid to where? TB, okay. So in World of Warcraft, we uh, looked this up. It could remember, it could remain, it uh, could mean uh, Thunder Bluff. It's a touring capital in Mulgrave, okay. Uh, Tolbarad, yeah, c could be TB. Thorin Brotherhood, mm, yeah, okay. Oh, the Dark Iron Dwarf, so, hmm. Uh, what about the, uh, it could be a, thir a server from Thorin Brotherhood in the U.S. No, it doesn't sound, a Thoughtbot, yes, it's got to be for Thoughtbot. It's a World of Online, uh, World of Warcraft Online, not a discussion, McCaven or Mike or whatever your name is. It's a World of Warcraft Online database. Hmm. Even though these are all good definition for TB, we think that this acronym is not quite. Ah, it's not quite the looking to raid. So context is everything. So what is that context? Well, the context is the the point of this paper. It's uh, game design number four. It's talking about map, data, arrays, list, and more generic names by Micaiah Stevens, i.e. out of order. So, and a lot of these concepts are, this is, I thought this was a great title because <laughs> I love snappy titles that is sort of talking about this idea of arrays and nodes and maps and data and just we have so many generic names for these things. So, uh, let's give you a good example. Ah, now that we got the concepts, let's talk about, uh, but first, uh, before we get to that, uh, maybe it's a little bit of spoiler for what we're talking about here, but it's similar to math and uh, it, and, and, and to this in that we call it the order of operation. So in a three, in an, if a number equals three plus two times X, wait, that doesn't look right. Ah, better. We're not monsters. We use the star to represent the, uh, uh, re represent the time symbol in math. Okay, so, okay, that's quite easy. Three plus two is five times six. Wait, it's not five times six? What? But I, I showed you my work. Why? Why isn't it correct? Oh, it's it's it's, um, it's uh, twelve plus three. So how did we get there? Well, in the math of order of operations, we sort of reorganize this at that at two times six is actually twelve, and then you add the three. So you have to have that order of operation very carefully. So that sort of indicates that this node array is talking about this order of operations that we do. So then we talk about this. Well, what is the T LTR TTB? And we have a, now we get to the code example of, ah, so we're talking about this grid of data 
it's uh, from you know, and this is probably you've seen this in every single uh, tutorial video out there. It's uh, for int x equals. Uh, this is kind of one of the reasons I love well Visual Studio and C, C Sharp is that it just gives you this you know tab tab. You know how do you make a, a double int nested in array? Well, you type in for int and then tab tab. What well, that's anyways. Uh, so we have this uh, this data. We know that it's it's a grid data of 25 by 25. Oftentimes we can eliminate that if we're a square grid. Um, and we, anyways, we go x to zero, x less than the left to right, and then x plus plus, and then we do also the same with the uh, y uh, to get this nested for loop uh, to get the uh, grid data. And then we're in this case we're looking at nodes in in our nid. In, uh, and then we're gonna ta comment about this. It's never perfect. Sometimes we might go into a y equals zero y is you know less than the top to bottom and then x is the uh, equal to zero x is less than the top to the bottom and then we can our grade so it's still never perfect but wait so we thought there's differences in here and it's like well what are the differences and we're sort of giving this away with this this definition but if we strip away all that data then Visual Studio complains, but we get a good slide that says that we have the same data. We're going left to right is 25, and top to bottom is 25 is our 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 max values of our grid, and we start at zero. And then we uh, we do need to fill out the grade the grid with x and y, and then we enter in a new node. Anyway, so if you're not familiar, uh, and also too, if you're not familiar with the uh, Visual Studio or some of these error messages, is maybe a good refresher. The uh, squiggly lines under the left to right is saying that it's a variable that's been declared, but it's not used. And then the, uh, which is a a, um, a compilable function, but the X and Y are red. They're actually not declared. You have to actually declare your function, your variables. Well, how do we declare our variables? Well, we um, we do it right here with the uh, int X equals zero and then int Y equals zero. So. So what does that mean? So well, that means that uh, LTR top to bottom is this idea of left to right, top to bottom. Well, okay, that makes some sense. But let's see it in a real, uh, let's see it in a real example. However, to get to that real example, we have to t talk about some bias. We think, in looking at this topic, we really have to understand that that I'm as an American citizen of the United States and I speak English and that's my primary reading and writing even though I know dozens and dozens of languages and programming languages all this stuff the core concept of what I do is is, is, is rooted in this this uh, college level degree of uh, and that's sort of based on this idea and that's in, in the in the concept of like English and math and all these things are in the in this context because in English for instance you read it from left to right top to bottom but there are some languages that do this backwards um, and it and, and programming it doesn't technically matter which way it goes but oftentimes but then we'll get to that that in this in this 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 paper is talking about oftentimes it's 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 it doesn't have to be perfect in this example this code would generally work for everything you're trying to do and then we have these cases where it doesn't so let's get into the first case. Anyways, this is kind of the really confusing technical aspect. We have a quick demo of sort of the data we're talking about. Um, it's a, a, a predetermined game that was sort of given to us and saying, why is there a problem with, you know, we have this a node array and we simplified it to say there's a node array of zero to five in the X. So you can see sort of the, uh, the, the top, the, the uh, left to right here. And then we go top to bottom. So that's kind of what the the output is in Excel example. And yes, we will actually get to some fun Excel later. Anyway, so it's a game display, uh, and it's just showing the data. And in the first iteration, we're moving left to right. So, and the the game is set up that we have in two one, uh, we have a person. So that'd be two x one y is Mike. At three x one y is Bob. And then four x one y is Mary. And then five one is Joe. And I'm sure it's not a big deal that game and data are right there. Anyway, so we are we uh, sort of eliminated the fact that let's focus on Mike in the first iteration, or in the and so then it's just sort of the idea of let's focus on Mike as a you know primary force. So he wants to move left to right. So Mike simply says, I want to move from two two one to one one, and then that's what this game iteration. You can think of this as the tick of the game went off. 
things happened and we came back around and we said what's the map look like well mike was in 2-1 but he's not he's not mike anymore that's a i'm not a big fan of this but this explanation means not mike whereas i usually say mike equals mike equals false or something like that anyway so then we can say mike is now in 1-1 according to the game data and uh yeah unfortunately mike did actually wipe out the uh the game data there he just said hey i'm just going to move into 0-1 because that's where he's trying to go to and he wipes out the game. Anyway, so then we have this all excited in a cell spreadsheet, which is right here. So this is kind of the same thing. We just talked about the, 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 we're talking about a game design. We're trying to move left to right. We have these game iterations, which are sort of um, tiers of game code that will showcase, you know, this is what the game looks like. And we already talked about how uh, Mike is moving left and then, um, and then finally, um, the other thing too to note is that Joe is now sitting right here. Well, why is Joe? We know that according to the game data, we can just assume that. Well, why is that? Well, Joe, um, and I think we'll get down to that, but in, just quickly, we'll say Joe was in five, um, five, uh, uh, five one. Now he's in four one, and now we know that he's in three one. Then we come down here, and now, yep, Joe's in three one. So that's correct. So, um, yeah, so anyways, we're, so we're all moving left, and then we eventually we'll all move right. But we want to, so we want to move left first. So we start here at 0, 0, 0, and we go da, 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 and then we go down to here, and go down to here, and come back over here, and then just, that's how, that's how the data will start aligning itself in, in its iteration. So we run this. Uh, 25 times a, a a game tick and then so that's all what this data is trying to do and then then we're sort of indicating after 25 um, uh, once we do that that four we we set up that's kind of that setup in this for loop here if we can sneak back over here that's like the setup of what this is how the loop works and then oftentimes we'll go back through that same data just like that again but we're actually prefer uh, and that's why this is called uh, that's why it's called LTR TTB because we're going left to right top to bottom in our data and so we're not we're not building the data we're just saying hey update the node and that's what we're trying to do so anyway so let's just uh, do a quick iteration of this Mike is going to move over to uh, so we, we just go uh, anyways and then you notice also the game and data are moved out uh, into separate variables or whatever anyway so we start at zero zero we go over here we come over here. Oh, there's no changes, and we get to uh, we get to two one, which then you hit Control C to copy the data out, and then you come over here at Control V, and then Mike also needs to say he's not Mike here, and then Bob is the next person. So Bob, uh, and then see like, and then you could sort of think about this like if we copied and pasted the data, like this is the pre data. So then Bob needs to move over here. He wipes out not Mike, and then he's like not Bob. Mary copies over herself there and she goes not Mary and then Joe does the same thing wipes it out and then comes to it says not Joe so everything looks great um, um, in our first iteration and we can actually just copy and paste because we know in the code exactly what's happening that we're moving left to right and then we get to this final part where Joe is the not Joe and everything looks great so we display Mike here Bob's here Mary's there, Joe's here, it lines up with what we're doing, and we actually don't display the data, so this is kind of the internal. Um, anyway, so then we're sort of like, okay, so that works, so now we can say, every. we actually have to copy from over here, because we want to move everybody over here, and we're just going to wipe out all of this, and then we're just going to do the exact same thing, but instead we're going to move right, and this is where it, get, it got a little confusing when trying to think about this as the data is moving right to left it had no problem right everything was great we can actually just you know re rethink about this real quickly and we got to J not joe here so that was cool but however uh if you wipe out all the data for this is now you know we're moving everything to the right so we start up here and we go okay mike's gonna you know we're, we're we start at zero zero move all the way over here and then come down to here and we say okay we're going to copy mike over here and spot this right here and then we're going to say not mike so hey that works that's awesome 
we got the uh, the data copied over correctly. However, Bob then goes and says, well, okay, I'm over here, right there, but I used to be, like, over here, I used to be in 1-1, one, one, so I'll just, you know, just put not Bob here, and then Mary's going to do the same thing. She's going to come over here and say, oh, I'm not Mary, and then Joe's going to do the same thing and say, not Joe. And it's like, it becomes this, like, well, what just happened? Like, Mike is now supposed to be here but now it's not Bob uh, Bob was supposed to be here now it's not Mary and is not Joe is not here because he's not here but in our display we, you know in the iteration of you have to think about this this kind of where it gets a little confusing you have to think about you know because I'm not I can't I don't want to do all this a ton but the display actually did correct it moved everybody over and we're like cool so why why are we seeing these bugs and it took me a while to figure this out. And anyway, so then we go back through here, um, and we, we, we put this data back. Uh, let me put this data back into place to go through the final iteration. Um, and then we're, so we're saying Mike, not Mike, Mike. Uh, and then we can say, um, you know, we can actually just say Bob, Mary, and, J and oops, Mary, and Joe. So, right? And then we come back through and say, not Bob, not Mary, and not Joe. And it's because the data, it, when it's moving left to right, is, is can easily uh, it can easily not wipe out the data here because it's sort of the data is saying I'm moving from from two one to one 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 because it's 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 the data piece that's moving. And then, but it, it wipes out this 2 1. But 2 1's fine because Bob can come in and say, hey, I'm still at 2 1, but I need to, you know, I'm, st I'm, st I'm still at 3 1 and I need to move to 2 1. And then he, then he says, then Bob just, you know, puts it himself there. Even though the data says not Mike, Bob is like, I don't care it says not Mike, I'm taking over this data. And that's sort of, but that becomes a problem right here when, net, when the data when people when you when you move to the right you get out of this order this order operation here and it's like it's sort of it thinks about the data as it's it, the data is in the correct order but the operation of that data is sort of out of order and it's sort of it and and in this in this simple example it was wiping out the data because it was saying hey uh, you know bob is saying hey i'm no longer a 2 1 so wipe out that data and then it was like, then you would check, like, hey, what's the data show? And the data, and we're like, what's the, um, what's the character data show? And it's like, we get, this is what the character data was showing. And it's like, well, why is that the case? Well, you look back and it's because as, as the data moved left to right, it was sort of taking care of itself. I was going to left to right. But as it was going right to left, it was overwriting the data because it was like, you know, Mike would food first and he would write the data that he had. Hey, I'm not there anymore. And then Bob would write the data. Hey, I'm, and that's just it. Like this is, um, this is not free is what this data was saying. And it's like, so, so Bob, so Mike was saying, Hey, I'm no longer there. So point that data out. But on going to the left is great, but on going to the right, it just became like that Bob was saying, Hey, you know, even though Bob was entering this data, he was saying, I'm, I'm there. And it's like, it's so it, anyway, so it just became this, this confusion of why on the left to right, it was displaying the data correctly, but on the, the left, on the, on the left, that's why it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but on the, when the data is moving left to right, it was showing case correctly. But when, when the data came back through and the characters wanted to move from the right to, from the far left to the right, then they were actually going, the data was uh, misrepresented wrong. Anyway, so part of that is this uh, sort of pseudocode. Uh, we have these, everybody has a unit. I think this is where it also gets even more confusing because um, there's a, anyway, so we have units, uh, Mike uh, is OX1B3F, and then Bob is OX, uh, OX1C3F. And uh, anyway, so, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, and here's the nodes. So we also talked about the nodes. This is 1F, and this is um, C1F, and this is D1F. Anyway, so it talks about the fact that that uh, part of this, this code 
was saying that when Mike enters the code, it's just saying this is the unit, and he enters this node. Uh, and then so we, so it's just the current equals enter this, and le the last equals leave. And it's like, so it ran through that. And anyway, so we talked about the, uh, uh, it's, it's kind of, it gets really, I think this is really convoluted and gets kind of complicated. So hopefully I'll try to um, go through this a little. But anyway, so then we talked about this idea that when you leave, you need to sort of have ownership. You know, when someone leaves, like if the if if Mike leaves the node, it's okay for Mike to leave because he's the owner. And if Bob enters the node, it's not okay because Bob is not, you know, the owner's not Bob. And that sort of was it. When someone else was entering the node, it was overriding the node's owner, and and so now Bob is mad and then refuses to enter and refuses to leave. Anyways, and so that's sort of talked about this idea that for each node and map. We run the node, and then after the map. Oh, this is a, another idea where you could have this. You have this list of, of, of map data. You run the map data, and then you 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 know for each node, you run the node like we're doing, and then after that, then you update your node data. To say, okay, where's everybody at? And then you move the node and notify the node and stuff like that. And part of the the problem is this talking about this conflicts with data is that that um, and this 624 uh, comes from the fact that 25 in our example 25 times 25 is 625 so we have to think about that this data in these arrays are running 624 times and so if they're and that was that became the massive problem here is that they the data was was just do, doing like this and it kept you know and that's how the data's work you know it's left to right top to bottom and as it was going to the right, it was sort of wiping out the data because even though Mike Mike had left this node and said, hey, I'm no longer there, when Bob tried to enter this node, it just sort of, it wouldn't give him access and wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't free up the nodes. And then you, you ran into this situation only on the right. This is the game iteration one on the right. On the left, this is what the game iteration looked like. And it was really confusing for me to try to figure out why there was such a difference between these two cases where it's like you have this case oh we can actually just and then you have even though this is the, the game iterations don't match up but but like on when we move to the right this is the data we have and we moved it to the left this is the data I have and it was it's because of these conflicts that when you move out of a node it's like it's sort of moved when you moved out of the node on the left it was leaving correctly because it was uh, iterating the data on the left but when you move down on the right we had these conflicts every single time um, anyway so uh, this is kind of and this is uh, 60 times a second or you know this happens so often that it's hard to sort of um, and that's why you got to think about these data uh, points as you know this fact that you know you have to think about like if these enter and leave functions or sort of talking about the fact that is one a way to handle this and there's many multiple ways to handle this but it be and that's sort of the thing is like there is no indication of why the data was here there was no like if left don't display or if right don't you know display there's no indication of that and it was just because the data was being wiped out and it was like after the fact it's like it seems like duh it's like this sort of thing um, was happening and it's like like and that's sort of like that's sort of it in this way it would wipe out the data from left to right and this way it would probably wipe out the data from top to bottom and you know maybe do something weird so you could actually also reverse this and go from uh, you would actually do this like for x equals left to right x greater than zero x minus minus it would have then wiped out the data the other way anyway so hopefully that wasn't too confusing um, there is a um, it, it, it's a lot of um, it's it's hard to think about you know part of it is hard to think about these data chunks that you have in your brain of this is what the the game is and that's why and we simplify the data down to this core value of we only have 25 values to look at and then 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 I thought hey it would be nice if we put the the, the game here and which is kind of talking about that's sort of what I, I, I think was confusing last time I tried to do this is because I had this idea that game was on this line and data was on that line and it's like that does this doesn't make any sense because now Mike is on one two and also now he's on 
two one, so it doesn't that didn't make any sense. But it does showcase the fact that Mike is going to wipe, moving to the left, uh, Mike is going to wipe out the game, and then moving to the right, he's going to wipe out the other data. Anyway, so then we're we're going to talk about a map problem with Hamlet. Uh, I, I just want to emphasize it a little bit. Uh, I just I'm happy to talk about Hamlet. Uh, let me look at my video time here. I think I'm 20 some odd minutes. No, yeah, so pretty. Wow, am I 35 minutes? No, 25. Okay. Well, hopefully we'll get through this. Um, it's really short, and then we'll just talk about um, since uh, I was took a little bit longer, but so we're to sort of re-recording this um, after the fact. Anyway, so I'm happy to talk about Hamlet, but the devlog is getting behind, and the sort of the the idea about this. Um, is the fact that we were talking about this way back when, and we already had, so we wanted this video to come out on the 14th or something, 13th, 14th, when we recorded it, but we looked at the, it was just too confusing. So, that, but then after the fact, DevLog uh, is scheduled to come out tomorrow on the 18th, and then we thought we had another video DevLog, you know, so this would have came out on the 25th, and it just felt like it was too far out. Um, and that's sort of it, too. It's like, in talking about these devlogs, they were just, it was felt like they're getting too far behind. But now we're sort of back on track. And it's mostly kind of giving an update on the status reports and, you know, where we're at. Because, you know, we already, you know, on the 18th, we were sort of, you know, back on track to talk about the, the release that just opened. And I think that was just it. We were talking about way back up here that the release of the game was way back here and it's like we you know we we're way back here and now we're talking about the update it's like we're two you know almost two weeks behind anyway so that's kind of why uh i just thought this would be a good idea and it sort of these sort of concepts fit together anyway so what are we talking about well we're talking about hamlet we have a map problem we have an awesome demo for you oh nope there's a little bit more sorry we have an awesome demo for you uh, but it's a demo without the low vol uh, bad volume. Whoops. Uh, we did get a comment about the fact that, uh, and we, we kind of sort of saw that in the recording of the v v these videos, but we already do multiple of these videos, and we didn't want to overdo it. Yeah, anyway, so uh, let's showcase the video. Uh, anyways, is this the correct? Nope. Oh, sorry. Hello. There's the old one. My bad. Okay. So here we go. We've got this uh, with this character. He is now moving around on our square uh, unreleased map. And we have these corners of data and, and sort of how, the, and it's like, it's, it was really weird of why are we getting these data points that seem to indicate like that, um, and is there a better way to showcase here? Let me re the, like this one. Uh, anyways, it's it's um, yes, yeah, so you can sort of um, trying to, I'm trying to get a like okay right here is a good example no nope, right here I think nope come on I should have took a image no oh, there it is okay so here's the here's what I think is happening in this sort of, and this is sort of, it's all orientations and, and different things are, I think this is actually sort of the correct orientation. So this is our zeroth X, our zeroth Y position. So we're going left to right, top to bottom. So when we, we are just simply saying, hey, at zero of X is ocean because it's on the edge of the map. And then we say, because that's the distance of the ocean right now. And we say, well, the ocean, di the uh, sea distance, which is sort of our, our shallow distance is at one depth. So it's like at zero we're ocean and at one we're um we're um uh we're sea and then at uh, two we're sand. Anyway, so as it goes through here, it goes left to right and it, it, it works out. But then as it goes top to bottom, it sort of refills in this data. And that's sort of like this we can and we this is the exact same example. And then you can see that in the code here that we go into a little bit is this is kind of that same exact thing. Like this is a just a node update that's just saying, hey, I've got a minimum size. The max size is the world size. We've got this ocean depth, the sea depth, the sand depth, and we just need to know the node type. And it's telling the sort order. The sort, sort order is it's saying we're going to sort the order either in the, in the incorrect way, which is what it's doing, or we're going to say, we're just going to, and then we're just going to go in, we just, we often do this, and then I make fun of myself too, um, 
to uh, you hold control save and you can sort of see what I'm oops no it's 10 seconds wow you can see what I what I'm doing is I'm just saying the short order the short sort order um, sorts out of order is false and then I just uncommented this line to sort of skip um, this line and to go to the true and then we can then we'll just get, you know and then we make fun of ourselves and we hit play and then you can sort of see that also now when we sort it in the correct order uh, excuse me come on oh yeah it takes a little bit down now you can sort of see we're getting the correct data the the uh, which we showcase in all the corners that the, every data is correct and it's actually comes out with a perfectly square or in our case it also comes out with a um, a the same sort of idea and you can see now it's going from left to right we talked about this and it's going you know you know we get to see then we get the ocean and then we get the sand you can sort of see that line and then the same way this way is we get the I think it's two ocean yeah two ocean and then the sea and the land and it's just sort of this is kind of meant to be a the corners here of the thing and per, how did we accomplish this well the thing uh, we didn't I guess we haven't showcased that we we're talking about showcasing the code but if you sort of see here that we're going X um, X um, is in this min size to the ocean depth and then X and then we're checking for the ocean and then if it's if that's true we set the ocean and then if it's not true then we set the, the sea depth and we just kind of go through these are else if so it's if this else that else that and then we get down to the ocean sea sand and and land and the fix was to actually just include the Y up in here because we're sort of sorting that data like we talked about we're sorting that data right here and we sort of have to um, I believe it's this case where it's never perfect but we're sort of thinking about that that the data is sort of being put into this array or in this you know list or wherever the data is it's in an order and when you it needs to sort of and that's what we're trying to accomplish here is that we we need to and that's was the fix was the and when the sort order is true is the else on this is just we take the the y then we say y is the less than the min size and then y is less than you know y is less than the min size plus the ocean depth and y is less than the new size minus the ocean depth and we set the so we set two ocean two sea two land or two sand and then two land and that's that's when then then we actually get this correct and that's that's sort of the difference was here for us is we can sort of see and this sort of highlights the problem that we if we are if are we're sort of in the sand it sort of looks really derpy and that was one of the bugs that sort of held up and then we fixed it in the point 10 update anyway so that's kind of a why uh, oh, or yeah right here we felt this is a good explanation of, of this sort of this uh, this sort of came at two separate projects the contract came in and said why is my data being weird and we're like we looked we took us a couple hours to try to figure it out uh, anyway, so just happy to talk about Hamlet, but uh, we hopefully will include some of the um, some more of this in the um, uh, in the devlog. The devlog's coming out uh, Monday, and then this will or this will will already be out, and this will be on Wednesday of this week. Anyway, so we got the awesome demo. So anyway, so that's the conclusion of our video. Uh, we could talk about the next. Uh, we're talking about the next um, game design, uh, and we sort of had this uh, the showcase of the fact that the Let 'Em Dare. Uh, it was 42. Well, where, where is Let Him Dare 42? Well, it was on August 13th of 2018. Uh, we're kind of bringing back some old code. Um, and we're kind of updating this. And it's talking about this idea of that this inventory project. And we're trying to turn this into, we used to be called Quill 18 Inventory. And we'll, we're going to talk a little bit about that, I think. It has some great, it sort of follows up with our inventory. And we think it's a really good idea to sort of follow that up with the, the idea uh, but uh, part of that is is through this um, it's uh, through the, the 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 project quill submitted for the let them dare 42 was um, on for the August one uh, yeah August was this path of excess horde hoarder versus horde so we probably we have some gameplay video some discussion of this and then we I'd like to showcase where we took this project and sort of um, and sort of hard to sort of you know we could talk about let them dare and code design you know the copyrights and a lot of this stuff but hopefully we're going to be okay um i think part of it is like uh quill did a, a different let them dare for um cards 
and someone came out with uh, a game called uh, Slay the Spire, and Quill was very excited about that. And it's it's just I think the part of the copyrights is just like don't sue me, <laughs> like don't sue me if this code doesn't work. Uh, you know, if I there's some bug in there I'm not aware of, don't sue me. Is basically I think is you know basically what everybody's talking, mostly what people are talking about, and then they don't want people to. Anyway, so we'll talk a little bit about that, but that's part of that let them dare. We just thought we'd get a, a shout-out to that early and maybe think about how... I'm not sure exactly when this is all going to shake out. Uh, we haven't even talked about Project Canada, which has been talked about in some of these videos. But anyway, so that's kind of what we're thinking about next and sort of some of the design. And we're sort of... Um, and this sort of is an umbrella for our an RPG project that we're sort of been working on quite a bit and it's not has nothing to do with the the we took a lot of the systems and for designing that and we sort of expanded upon that massively and this just sort of became this RPG sort of a secondary RPG or trinary or there's so many different projects we work on anyway so we just thought we'd give an update uh, hopefully we'll talk about Hamlet on the 25th for the devlog and then then we'll talk about something else so thanks it's on Steam if you want to check it out uh, email and leave a comment. I appreciate everybody's um, feedback. Uh, really, it does make a big difference to me. Um, even if it's, uh, why was the video voice so bad? So hopefully the voice, and that was kind of the idea, of like, well, we should do the, uh, the, vo the just speak, you know, record the videos, because we want to record the videos that, of cool things, and then we thought, well, which is kind of the original idea, but then we realized we shouldn't do any voice, because it changes uh, so often. So, anyways, thanks very much. You take care. Have a great one.